a try. Bit of a new look back on in some ways this year. How are you, how are you finding it all? Yeah, that's the nature of uh, professional sport. I suppose you get a lot of turnover. Um, some exciting young players coming through, so it'll be uh, really good to watch them in the 10s coming up. How's, I guess, Basti Marek settled in? Yeah, he's been well. Obviously, the transition hasn't been that hard. He's only across the corridor from the Storm to us, so um, he still sees the familiar faces across the, uh, the way. And he's adapted well. He started playing rugby union back in Fiji, so the transition's been pretty smooth. Is the, do you expect to get a little bit more competition back on if you've got Marek and you've got... Sefa. Sefa. No, not Sefa. Um, Stephanie. Katara, Katara, yeah, yeah. Katara, so you've got him coming in. Is there a bit more competition for sports? How do you see it? Definitely. Um, being a winger myself, yeah. obviously, there's a uh, lot of competition there. But it's exciting. You know, the competition drives standards. And if you're always pushing yourself, well, then whoever's going to be starting in that jersey is going to be or represent those other players to the best of his ability. Are you happy, I guess, to play in, in centres or something like that as well? Obviously, with coming to the club or are you aiming to still play wing? Or? Yeah, I think we've explored that option uh, during the pre-season. Obviously with Mika getting injured, uh, I've moved back to the wing, but I think it's uh, important to be versatile, so uh, I'll welcome that chance if it comes. And I think it's important just to play whatever's required for the team. So if it's wing or centre, I'll be happy to do that. What do you think about the introduction of this new tennis comp? Are you guys excited about it? Uh, my fitness levels aren't going to be excited about it. It's going to be quite tough, I think. Um, it's going to be exciting. It's almost a hybrid between 7s and 15s. Uh, there'll be a lot of running rugby. It'll be great um, for the fans to watch. So I think it'll be exciting um, and it'll be really skill-based. So it'll be great to get a little hit out, you know, work on our skills before we actually jump into the Super Season. Yeah, I asked um, Colby, Colby. About, yeah. Colby about um, this as well, having those international teams come in just at the back end of their season. What does that mean for you guys? Is it, is it harder to play them at the end of their season? or Mixed respect. Like, it'll be mixed. You either finish the season and you're, you know, you're hurting a little bit because it's been a long year um, and we have the benefit of feeling fresh because we're just starting out. Obviously they've gelled a lot more because they've got a lot of games under the belt and us, we're just coming together new. So um, there's a lot of pros and cons on either side there. I think uh, for us, we just got to take you know, that feeling of freshness and that energy and try you know, bring that to the table. Is it a bit of a, I don't want to say like a break, but is it looking to be a year where I guess you are kind of sit and set yourself upon the real contenders in the Australian Conference? So obviously a few, few new guys coming in, you guys have played together a bit more now as well. Yeah, well, we're no longer the baby of the competition. Uh, we've kind of hit under that label for the last couple of years, but I think that's well behind us now. I think it's year five or six, so um, that's no longer an excuse for us. We really need to you know, start to gel. And I think last year we, we played okay, we just missed a couple of close games, and that's the difference between being a good team and a great team. So um, if we can tighten up those key areas, I think we can sit in the top two if we, if we really stick to our guns. Are you guys uh, excited to, to do a 10 tournament? Yeah, I think it, it's going to be very different. Uh, I think everyone's really excited for it. It's going to be a new challenge for everyone, uh, especially up here in Brisbane. It's good that um, there's, there's going to be uh, all the Australian teams, all the New Zealand teams and the Invitational teams, so it's going to be a, a good variety of players out there. How's it going to be um, You know, playing those internationals? You said they're sort of on the back end of their season, so presumably they're going to be in tip-top shape. Yeah, well, uh, well, either going to be in tip, tip top shape or going to be a bit sore. We, well, we know as, as, a, as a team, like you get to the end of the season and you're a bit battered and bruised and, and kind of, uh, I suppose the 10s comp will be exciting for them. But um, I know myself coming at the end of the season, like I'm just trying to get through the game. Like my body is always, always so sore towards the back end of the season. So I'll be looking forward to a break. So hopefully that's what they're doing. We can come in and as a, as a fresh young team, come in in our prime just before the season starts and kind of take advantage of that. Yeah, how are you going to handle the heat, do you think? Ah, uh, well, they, they'll probably be one of the biggest challenges for us, but uh, it's it's 10 minute halves, like, I, I think I think we'll be all right for 10 minutes running out there, get a little couple minute break and then 10 minutes again. So I don't think I don't think 20 minutes in the sun's going to cause too much trouble for us. Okay. And uh, you're playing at Suncorp, what do you reckon that's going to be like? Suncorp's always a great venue to play at. But, uh, we've played there several times and every time we go there the Queensland fans and everyone up here always bring a good vibe and it's always exciting to play there. What was the uh, fallout, not fallout, I guess the response like from uh, Monday Night Straw? Uh, it, well, it was good to actually get a, get a proper hit out and see where we are. Like, we haven't done too much 15 on 15 live contact stuff so that was a kind of a first uh, first or second little hit out that we had so it's good to get a gauge where we are and from the last time that we um, did 
uh, 15 v 15 live uh, contact stuff we've Im, uh, we've improved from last time so I know it, we're not taking too much out of it we'll, we know that we've got a bit to work on but I, I think all signs are quite positive for the start of the season a couple of new guys around this year um, how are they chilling especially Marie for I guess uh, they've been really good uh, everyone's kind of contributed uh, a lot to the team so it's good the new guys that have come in they haven't been shy like they've, got, they've kind of spoken up when they need to speak up um, they've put their opinions forward, so it's good that the guys haven't come in, um, been new to a club, been whether it's intimidated or, or quiet, or maybe just a bit shy for the first couple of months. Like them guys have come in, ripped in, and really brought the energy for the, for the start of the season. So those guys in there, is it? I guess it's been an important year for you guys too, and it's a year where you can take that next step up and be, you know, I guess, one of the main contenders in this for confidence. Yeah, well, that's. That's our, that's our plan every year. Like we're not trying to lose. Like we're we're trying to do the best that we can. And we know that uh, we're the team now that we have uh, guys have got a lot of experience over the past few years. So I think I think we we should we should do better than we have previously. But we're just going to take it a game at a time. We're going to do the best that we can. And yeah. Is it a different training experience training for tens? Um, no, it hasn't been too bad. Like it's. Uh, we're, we're pretty focused on 15s at the moment, but um, a few 10s in there, so it's, uh, it, it's it's not too different. Colby, I've, I've got to ask you, mate. Without the flankers and the back rowers uh, to help you guys out in the forwards, what's that going to be like, just having the five of you up front and getting that uh, the dirty work done? Uh, it's it's going to be good. Like, it, like the, the back rowers are all, like, everyone, everyone goes quite hard, and there's, there's quite a bit of mongrel in the back row so it, it, it's good to have them kind of guys around and um, depending on the, the bodies that we have available after the week um, we'll, we'll see how the team goes. Do you, have, have you guys named the 10th squad yet? Uh, uh, we, we've got to finalise it this uh, Yeah well, yeah, we've, we've named like 20 or 30 yeah. guys Yeah, okay. we haven't. Um, what kind of approach, I mean do you, are there things, do you get there looking to win 10, do you go out there looking to I guess work on certain parts of the game that are going to help you come with 15 man aside, like what, what's the approach? Um, I think you just get a bit of a blowout. Well, we, we're, we're in it to try and win, like we, we don't want to go out there and, and, and lose, but um, comparing it to 15s, I don't think we're really trying to get anything out of 10s that's going to correlate over to the 15s other than a bit of extra fitness. Yeah, so it's more just a really good stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's more about it's more about just going out there and enjoying the tens and trying to do well in it. Playing those uh, international teams, I mean, obviously it's it's tens, but do you think playing them this weekend will, will help your game in the long run? Uh, personally, or as it was like a club? As a team, yeah. Um, I, I suppose we'll get to see a bit of what the other guys have been doing over the preseason, how how they're shaping up their skills, but. Like I said, it's it's like comparing sevens to fifteens as well. Like it, it's it's very hard to compare them to each other. They're the same players, but it's completely it's going to be a completely different game. There's going to be a lot more space than there is in fifteens. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's gonna, I, I don't think it's going to be too comparable.